Hey guys, it's Robert from Redneck Brewing coming at you with another brew day. Today I'm working on my mower beer. I'm making a German Pilsner. Uh, it's a lager. Uh, I'm actually using a lager yeast strain that I've never used before. I'll show you that in a few minutes. Um, I'm also going to bring you in close and show you this kit for more beer that I'm using. Uh, kind of give you an idea of why I like them so much. They're very well packaged, very well put together. Um, this recipe also calls for me to use distilled water to bring out the flavors from the yeast uh, in fermentation. Um, today is an absolutely gorgeous day. I'm hoping you all are having a good day too. Whenever you get your more beer kit in, everything comes packaged like this. This has all your hops, your uh, bottle and sugar, your Warflock tablet, your specialty grains, and it also comes with your directions already in it. And then alongside that comes your bulk grain. Now one thing you need to know about ordering the more beer kits, they don't come with yeast. You're either gonna have to buy it separately with your order or do like I do and go to my homebrew supplier and buy it there. Uh, when I did go to buy my yeast, um, I had to buy something I've never, uh, never tried before. This is uh, Craft Series Yeast M84. It's made by a company called Mangrove Jack Brewing Company. Never tried it, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I've done a little bit of research about this yeast. I find that it likes 55 degrees the best. Uh, so I have got my fermenting chamber set at 55 degrees. Uh, from what I've been finding out about this, it's going to take roughly two weeks to ferment out and then you go through your standard lagering process. While I'm waiting for my water to heat up, I want to share this with you. This is my IPA that we saved in my last video and I'm happy to say it was a complete success. You'll take a look at it. It's nice and clear and carbonated and it's good stuff. So, very successful. I also want to ask you guys what's your opinion. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a couple of cooking shows. Uh, I'm going to put up some pictures of uh, some, uh, some cinnamon rolls that I made this morning for me and my wife. Let me know what you think if you'd like to see uh, this old redneck cooking. Well, there you go guys that's the end result just pitched my yeast a few minutes ago uh, i've had my carboy in my cooler for a couple of hours i've dropped it down to 65 degrees just a little bit above 10 degrees above my set point of 55 but it should drop on down um, to show you around my uh, fermentation chamber that is a wine bottle that the temperature probe is going into so that way i am uh, measuring the temperature of the liquid and not the air temperature. That's a couple of my beers. That's a uh, IPA uh, that I've had in there for a while that I'm aging. And that's that cherry wheat. That's the last of the cherry wheat aging it. I hope you guys have had a great brew day. I have had an awesome day today. Uh, ordered a old school NES controller from China. And it just got in it's a usb controller so i've been reliving my youth today been playing some old nes games been playing some super mario brothers and tecmo super bowl and uh even some wwf uh wrestling been playing with the macho man oh yeah so anyway i hope you guys have had a great day and i'll catch you on the next one you've got your hops packaged up oh, you're so